how do we go about discovering it? I mean, we can't wait until purpose actually comes to us and say, hello, I'm here. So how do we go about discovering our purpose? So your purpose discovery starts with um, certain activities when you start to think outside of the box and you start volunteering or you start doing things that, you know, sometimes you have an inkling, oh, I would like to try that. And you go and try it and you see, oh my gosh, I want to be a a trainer in this, or this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. So your purpose is what's going to make you cheerful and it's going to make you peaceful and you're going to be joyful. And when you do it, you don't feel like you're doing a job or a career because I'm sure you've heard the saying that when you do what you love, you love what you do and it would never be work to you. So I believe that your purpose is going to be the thing that you love to do and that it becomes normal to you. It's like breathing. That is what you do. And when people see you in your purpose, they're going to be, oh my gosh, this person fits this so perfectly. So we have to start doing new things and we have to hang out with people that are different so we can start to see outside of our little cubicle or outside of our street, people that actually are different, that have different values, meaning is their family system more valuable than what you're used to? And is family important to you? Is teaching important to you? And if it is, and that's something that you think is your purpose in life is to teach people or to teach kids or to help elderly people, then you would start to socialize with people that's already in that field so that you can start to expand your horizon and get knowledge. Kind of happened to me. I've been a real estate broker for a little over 25 years and um, been the office managers, been the broker of the division, have done new construction sales, been top in my field. However, I decided that I wanted to, one day I met a person that was a life coach. And the more I got to talking to this person, the more I felt like, oh my gosh, I've been doing this for 25 years in real estate. So this must be where I'm supposed to fit in. And to me, I do real estate, but I love life coaching. I love helping people. I love people being able to find out where they have went astray. And I'm sure when you start to find your purpose, and whenever I ask you this question again, you're going to say, oh my gosh, it kind of fell into my lap and I totally enjoy what I am doing. And you're going to see that you're a little bit more happy. You're, you know, we're working on keeping that smell on our face. So it would be able to help you smell a little bit more because what you're doing is enriching you as it's enriching others. So how, what could be your purpose? Oh my gosh. I mean, the list is, is vast. You could be a person that's here to help people. And so do you have a, you know, your question would be, do you have abundant empathy for people? Do you feel that your desire is to make people better off? Do you want to impact the life of children or impact the life of senior citizens or impact the life of people that don't have as much as you do? If that is yes to any of that, then you should volunteer in those areas and then see if you fit. Now, if you don't fit, move on. Nobody's holding it against you. Or are you a thinker? Do you take time to motivate other people? Do you take time to read to people, kids or elderly people whose eyes are dimmed now? Do you want to go to the Senior Citizen Center and 
and help out there and volunteer your time. Think about it. Are any of these making you feel like, oh, wait, maybe that is something that I want to do? Um, are you an active person? Maybe you should start a fitness class or a dance class or a yoga class on the internet and where you can help others, you know, get off their sofa and get themselves busy. I'm going to say this at this point. If not you, then who? If you're a person that have skills and have talents and you're not for sure if it's your purpose in life, if you don't get outside of your box and practice it, who else is going to do it? You were given that skill, that desire for a reason. So let's get out and practice it. You know, you think about it. Are you a cook? Do you enjoy cooking? Maybe you can start an online cooking session. For people that don't know how to cook, there's a lot of people that just do not know how to cook. You can literally teach someone from your kitchen online how to fix meals that would keep them healthy, make them feel better. It would make you happy. It would make them happy. These are all just little options to think about that helps you to think outside of your box. Our purpose is our happy. So when you start to find your purpose, you're going to see that you start overflowing with joy. 